decorative. In this program, we plan to model this decorative. We enter the Rhino environment. In the top view, we create the line with the command curve. Now enter the F10 and we're making curve edits. We took a side step. Now we copy it and close it with the line environment. Draw a line in the middle. The point that is. There should not be the line to the corners. We need to create a crown that is height. So we draw the vertical line approximately. In the middle of the lower line. And one point on it. If the size of the shape is small. We will scale it with the gum allet. Make a copy of the shape and. Clear the middle of the line. Now we create a curve with interpolate. Run patch and select the first, second, third line. Record history is also active. And space. Whether it's active or not active. Automatic trim stretches the page. Because we did not choose the two sides. Because the record history is active, you can edit the shape. So we select an F10 and bring the shape closer to the image. Located the top view and we trim the area around the original. Clear the extra points and lines. Shattuck mode. The point is that the patch should not be created with the line but also between the line and the point. It can be edited by moving the point. To remove the line so we can apply contour, you need to click on the shape and select the visible ticker in the properties section. Now we execute the contour command in two directions and let's number one. Clear the following page. Clear the lines we created at the beginning. We have to extrude now. Hold the drag and control extruded. We perform the off-site surface and put it in solid mode. In the front view. And after trim the surfaces. Below is an empty shape and we need to apply the cap command to fill. No need to be done every single one. Select the whole shape and apply the cap command. To make the shape of the tongue and groove of the original shape here too, you must get to know the boolean command. To draw this command, draw a box and a sphere. So now, the boolean orders can be brought here. Well, the first command integrates the shapes. The first shape is selected and the second is selected and space. You see the shapes turned into a shape. Note, the other explode command does not respond to this form because it converts to a page. The second order is the boolean difference which reduces the latter form from the first one. The first shape of the choice of the space and the second form of the choice of the space. If the delete input option is no, it retains the original shape after executing the command. The third is the boolean intersection command, which chooses a junction between two shapes. The last is boolean split. First select the box and right click and Select the second one right click. So the function of this command is such that it chooses the subset and decreases from the first one.
Well, let's get back to shape and mode tongue and groove apply. First we select a row and move up in the Z axis. Now we make them hide and select the remaining rows. And again unhide. We'll have the shapes to make it easier to choose. We run the boolean split and give it the second lines and space. Well, you see that the lines below it are empty. To reduce the top lines, we will hide the lines below. Select the line and clear the inside of the boolean difference. Delete input is on the yes. For example and for education. We do just that for training on just a few lines. Now you can see the rest of the shape and see the two shapes that are put together. Set to ghosted to determine. 